Hi guys and welcome back to Vape City Reviews and today we're doing a hardware review and it's going to be on the Aspire Stealth Kit. Features the K1 Plus tank. Now the K1, I haven't got one to hand, but it is quite similar to this little tank here. Uh, very, very popular and very successful. But I have built it into a little stealth box muddy thing. So we're going to go down below. Uh, usual thing guys, give you some information about the kit. Come back up, vape on it and then give you my pros and my cons. Yeesh. <laughs> Okay guys, there you go, the Aspire K1 Stealth Plus kit. Um, what do I make of it? So first off guys, I'll give you a few vapes. Um, I have got it on three lights, which is 12 watts, two lights, 10 watts, and the first light is 8 watts. I like it a little bit of test. And it's a lovely, lovely vape. I like it nice and restricted. You can get that airflow cut down. Wide open, still a mouth to lung draw, but slightly airier. Um, it vapes really, really well. As you can see, the coils are the normal Aspire BVC coils, so there's no difference there. So what do I make of it as a kit? Um, pros and cons. Let's do the pros and cons. A con for me, and it's entirely subjective, is it's. I don't like these hard edges. Although even the, the, the corners here, they've squared them off. It's a very sharp edge device. And just personally for me, it's just not my cup of tea. But that might suit other people. A very, very subjective con there. Um, really, other than that, if you leave the little things sitting, maybe for, I mean, I vape a lot of different devices so if i set this down i don't come back to it for five six hours i find you get a wee bit of gurgling with inside the coil just ever so slightly um it's not a huge issue issue a couple of vapes and it soon clears but just something to note um, and that's really about it thousand milliamp hours in this little bugger it is lovely to be able to change the power settings 8, 10 and 12 and um, other than that it's a very well rounded device. I did initially have issues with uh, the magnet, I wasn't too sure um, how to get that on and what I initially done was I had it back to front because this magnet will thread on both ways. If you put the magnet on the wrong way and drop it in, it's very very loose and I was struggling to get a vape out of it and I was thinking this fucking thing's shite um, but I don't know what made me do it, I don't usually read user manuals and I didn't read the user manual but I unscrewed the magnet put it back on the cracked way base of the tank and it drops in and it is as solid as a rock so no complaints there charging time is very very good for a thousand milliamp hour takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get this thing from zero to full and really that's about it it's a very very simple mouth to lung kit for anybody moving on from smoking to vaping perfect wee kit for them someone who's a regular vapor wants something mouth to lung a very very sort of small nice and very billet boxy type design it's very very good um it's good i, I can't if I'm going to mark it out of 10, I'm going to give it maybe a 7 out of 10. It, it could be better. Um, it does miss the screen. The coil has a wee bit of gurgling. But a 7 out of 10, it's a very, very decent starter kit to go to. Um, yeah, good, good, good. One other slight cons, the metal drip tip. Never really been a fan of metal drip tips either. And it is proprietary because it, the tank is slightly over engineered. You have to push down and turn to get that off. It's child proof and the same goes for the base. 
that sort of push down and turn mechanism yes it, it actually complies with the tpd which does require these tanks to be child proof and that is child proof but it's like an over engineered version of the k1 but hey they're uh they're working with the regulations that's been handed to them like most other companies really don't so uh it's sort of a pro and a con pro that they're following the guidelines con that um it's slightly over engineered But all in all, it is a very, very good, decent little starter kit. So perhaps to Aspire for that one. And guys, that's it for me for this one. Nice, quick, fast review of the Aspire K1 Stealth. If you haven't already, guys, hit that, if you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button. It's going to go somewhere up there. Link to the last video I uploaded to the channel. It's going down here. And thanks to you guys for watching this all the way to the end. It is very much appreciated. Hope you all have an absolutely awesome day. Have a good one. Take care and bye. Whee.